Hey there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and I have an honest question for you. What are those? Okay, so yeah, we've got some pretty big news. So, um person by the name um on dark spyro by deadpool 98 uh posted this on dark spyro and it's basically a google search in some sort of foreign on some sort of foreign google i don't really know claiming that that particular image that i just showed you guys sh uh, was showing up for him i personally do not see it doesn't mean that he didn't see it because some people are saying they see it some people are saying they do not see it we i can see a lot of thumbnails from youtubers um i saw my own on here just a minute ago i don't know where it went because it's actually in the different order than it was before which would probably explain um why this is all going on and why some can see it some can't see it anyways the point is though that he discovered that image and the moderator or the hunter whatever uh named buzzer uh happened to post it in the highest resolution that we have available so if we zoom in right here we can see that it is a crash bandicoot starter pack um, hold on, gotta silence my phone, my phone was going off, sorry about that, um, so here we can see the Crash Bandicoot starter pack, and we can see that it's got four characters, uh, it's got, that's my DPI on my mouse, I accidentally bumped it, sorry, um, we can see it's got four characters, four senseis and a creation crystal, it's got Golden Queen, uh, Kingpin, uh, Crash Bandicoot, and then, of course, Neo Cortex, which is the main reason we are making this, or I am making this video to show you guys, not we, I don't speak like that, I'm not, a multi-person being or something like that. Anyways, the point is, is that this looks very authentic to me because Neocortex is put on here in multiple locations. So we not only see the figure, um, but we also see a piece of artwork down here. And we also see down at the very bottom with the content summary, we see uh, the game, Golden Queen, Kingpin. Uh, then we see Crash Bandicoot. We see Neocortex, the Fire Creation Crystal. And unfortunately, we still have a Swap Force portal down here. So that doesn't exactly bode well for there being a new portal. But anyways, that's not the important part that we're talking about right now. We're talking about Cortex. And so um, there had been a rumor going a while back that Crank Case could be light. And I kind of want to debunk that now, and I kind of think that I can debunk that, because Neocortex is the same base as Crankcase does, and the uh, strip above it is orange like that of tech, not white like that of light. So it basically confirms that he is tech, and again, why would Crankcase be light? I mean, I know Grave Clobber's water, and that's a really stupid idea, but that doesn't mean that all of Activision's ideas for this game were stupid. They did make a couple sane decisions in making Crankcase tech. I support that decision. And maybe some, maybe they'll come out and explain Grave Clobber, but anyways, that's not the point. So, we can't tell the battle class of Cortex just yet, but I would be inclined to believe that it is something to do with either a quick shot or a bazooka uh, just due to what he's holding in his hand. Now, I don't know what he's holding in his hand, but I would be inclined to think that either that's a bazooka right there or it is um, a little pistol, um, and it's like a quick shot. But I kind of would assume that quick shots would have double pistols, but I don't really know for 100% certainty. Now, there's a lot of discussion on the actual final count of all of the characters. And so I kind of want to talk about that right now, because there's not much more to talk about right here. But with the introduction of Cortex, we have yet another character added on and so some people are saying we'll have 33 some people are saying that we'll have 31 and honestly that just depends on the poster format um so right here we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 theoretically we're missing one out of here and it's been shown on the poster that one element would have four characters in it, and I assume now that that element is tech. Now, these would be complete, theoretically speaking, because we would have two elements with two characters in them, right here, uh, with Mr. Cat, Peñata, and then Light with whoever the heck this guy is, and Aurora. Those would be the two element or the two character elements, and then we would have Life and tech as our four element or our four character elements um with one with two 
Skylanders, a villain, plus a guest star in both elements, um, with presumably some other Skylander. Now, Tech could be that element, could be the element, or could be an element with only three characters in there. We don't really know. I am not entirely certain, but I can tell you that there will be at least one more character represented on here. Now, if Crash and Cortex are not on the poster, then there are three Skylanders that we have not seen yet. Um, because that would, because there are 31, or there are 30, sorry, yes, there are 30 bodies represented on the poster. We have 30, but Chaos was not on that poster, I'm telling you that right now. So, we have 29 of the 30 represented. Now, like I said, we have absolutely no way of knowing if Crash or Cortex were on there. Um, at Gamescom, it may become more clear, depending on who gets revealed. Um, I'm still wondering who this guy is, and I honestly think it would be very weird to not for Light to not have a villain. That would be very weird. But as of right now, we're up to one, or we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven villains. As was said, the, um, and, and so I would assume that whatever's not been revealed is a Skylander. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, there is one more thing I do want to mention about the Crash Bandicoot starter pack. It is actually an exceptional deal because you are getting not, not one, not two, not three, but four four characters plus a creation crystal plus the game plus the portal all for 100 bucks so you're getting a portal and a game for 30 bucks and everything else is at MS msrp so uh yeah this is pretty exciting though because cortex is a pretty cool character and i am very excited to actually see what cortex does and maybe we'll even get a look at him at gamescom but anyways that's all for now this has been portal master 9351 remember to like comment subscribe and check out my social media down below Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!